this town ain't big enough for the both of us. That was a very serious production. I drove would let us down slightly on the, the selection of available hats, <laughs> I'm afraid, but, uh, you know. It wasn't particularly cowboy hats, were they? But uh, You get what you pay for. Production values for you. So, yeah, we've never really talked about harnesses, and I use them every week. Mm. And you've obviously got and, the same. And you also use them for your photography. <laughs> <laughs> you always delete any of my jokes. I know, I do. I'll keep that one. Oh, thanks. And they're really important to me. They are. Because I use them for every wedding. Where, where is it gone? Under here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I've got the camera yeah. filming. So they're very important to you. You use them every yeah. week. And you went and bought a, a bit of rubbish on it. Well, it started a few years ago when I bought this one, really cheap one, mm. non-branded one, mm. which was ridiculous, really, to Risky. think about it. Because thousands of pounds worth of equipment and lenses. On a piece of... £40 fit faux, little bag. Faux leather strap. And it's really thin material. But to be fair, I used it for six months. Didn't let me down. Never let me down. The only time it did let me down is when I didn't secure these fast. There was the user error, basically. Okay. Well, the, it, the, it came off this and it dropped on the concrete floor. Whoa. Luckily, I had my lens cap on and the UV filter. And that bliss smashed in a minute yeah. pieces, but everything else was fine. Okay. There's a lesson for you. Use, use lenses. Because I never use lenses. Exactly. And he was always telling me. The reason I actually changed, well... Is no, the reason you changed... Was it? Because I got a proper one. And then you saw it. Well, I, I saw the difference in the thickness of the strap. Yeah. So the width of it. And the quality. Well, the main thing for me was when I was wearing this all day, these straps were quite narrow. Yeah. So it digged. So it was dug in, it's, digging into your shoulders. Was, yeah. yeah. And, but, so these ones are twice as thick and it spreads the weight out across your body. Yeah. And I can use this all day. Yeah. And sure, okay, after a long day, yeah. your whole body feels it. But there's no point on my shoulders and my uh-huh. back where I feel it. Because before that, what did we do? So I just, we, if you wanted to use two cameras, you maybe had two straps, put one down. Yeah, which is rubbish because you start getting your straps tangled up. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's not, just it's not fast no. either. And I, I st- I still pains me to see photographers using neck straps around their neck. Professional photographers. With heavy camera gear, kind of yeah. stooping yeah. down like that. Carrying multiple cameras, oh, but with the original neck, neck straps. It doesn't, oh. If you do that, I'm sorry, but please, yeah, it yeah. gives me a lot of pain. Yeah, it gives him because pain. Because it's just so much strain on your neck. Mm. I just don't know how... But maybe also, it's, not, it. it's not practical to, to enable them to be used quickly no. and efficiently, is no, it? No, no, no. Well, that, so. well, that's the other thing. It's so fast. When I'm using this for events, music or weddings, I'm just quick. I'm quick draw. That's why it's, we did the whole video quick draw. Because it's like, you can just do this, get your other camera. Yeah. And you just use two cameras yeah. straight away. And for me, Mr. Prime, I have one Prime on each. I know you have two Zooms. So we're doing a music festival, local music festival this weekend. So, and I always, generally always have 70 to 200 on this side. Yeah. 24 to 70 on that yeah. side. I'm going to copy you actually this time. Oh, where's Mr. Prime gone? Don't need him for that. <laughs> So, yeah, it's just really quick. And it's good to have your hands free as well, mm. to eat burgers and drinks. Of course, crucial. But it's just really handy. And, of course, if you want to be more discreet, because when I'm at music festivals, uh, which I'm doing a wedding, people expect me to be seen. And, and, and they do call me a cowboy sometimes. You wear a long shirt or a coat. Yeah. And you can't see them. You can barely see barely it. You see them, yeah. But there are some problems with harnesses that I oh, find. Right. Um, you can't wear a certain type of clothes. I have one shirt, my favourite shirt for, for weddings. Favourite wedding shirt? Snags every time I lift it up. So that there's a catch here. So this gets caught on my shirt every time. Your shirt's loose or clothing's loose. It gets yeah. caught and then you're like, oh, oh, wait wait a minute. It's a bit embarrassing, actually. It's okay with that. And I messaged Holdfast and I said, what's the solution for this? Because mm. I've got shirts and I'm always wearing shirts for weddings. They said, just hold it away and then bring yeah. it up. Yeah. Like that. So it's a bit embarrassing sometimes. Then you have to go like, wait a minute, excuse me. Wait a minute, me. <laughs> sure. Wardrobe malfunction. So, when you're using this, there's a lot of metal on these uh, clasps and it knocks against your camera. Right. So I just, I traded in my Z6 II recently. Right. And the whole bottom of it and the top edges were shined. Right. Yeah. Really devalues it and looks a bit scruffy. It looks a bit horrible. And, well... I'm not sure there's a way around it. On my ZF, 
with, oh, which is filming, I've got the small rig cage on it, so it takes the brunt off it. Right. Otherwise, over time, the constant kind of up and down and the, the knocking of it, it damages your camera. Whilst we're talking about harnesses, straps, etc., if you want to use a strap, what do you use them? Because Russell is one of the only photographers I know that won't use peak design oh, thank you. equipment because <laughs> it's too expensive. Well, most of, if I'm not using my harness, yeah. I'm kind of like you in a way. I don't use straps at all. Ever. Unless I do. If my, so my third camera, my Z6, yeah. where, where I'm lost, getting confused. Wherever camera, it is, yeah. I do use the Nikon strap. And right. I'm, I'm really quick at putting it on and off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not as quick as Peak Design. Not as quick as Peak Design, no. but I'm not going to spend a 50 But whilst we're yeah. talking about Peak Design, though, if you're using 70 to 200, attach it to the lens, ah. not the body. Otherwise, you put too much of a strain on the, yeah. on the lens mount, etc. And it keeps it well balanced. But yeah. the safety strap, I then always put it through the peak design anchors that are on there which is quite quick ah. and easy to do is that well, secure though if that if yeah. that main one fails would that be absolutely 100 percent. yeah yeah well if it isn't that means the peak design uh, anchor has failed or, or something's failed that would have right. failed you know if, if that yeah it, yeah it's it is oh, it's 100 okay. percent secure right okay i find that i there's hardly i can't feel the weight of the camera no, and the lens it, using this because it's, it's, it's spreading it um so you can wear them all day and they're so quick and easy to use, and they they always they sort of vouch you if you're walking through sort of doorways and things with them. I mean, you yeah. just got to be a little bit careful. You're, you're a lot wider, and they swing around. Yeah, lens hoods get battered. My lens hoods for my lane lenses are absolutely scratched and mine are perfect because I don't use them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will use them this weekend. But I'm happy to use the lens hoods to get damaged because that's what they're there. Yeah, yeah, for. yeah. But generally, they're so used to. Oh, we use hold fast. So I've got the vegan. Hold. You've got the animal one. Fully carnivore. And, but they've, I've had this. What? Well, how long have I had this for? Oh, a few years. At least a few years, and it's never let me down. It's not even worn or anything. No, it's, it's, no, it's just quality. Gear, feels safe. Um, but there are other, other brands. But hold fast to the main. Sadly, well, not we're not expensive. sponsored by Hold Fast here. No, I wish we were. But I think <laughs> I think I spent about two hundred and fifty pounds for it. Yeah, they're not the cheapest, but you get what you pay for, don't you? And at the time, that was probably that piece of whatever down yeah. there. <laughs> probably about seventy quid, was it? Or Forty it? quid. Forty quid. There you go. But yeah, when before I bought it, oh, do I really need to spend it? Once you've got it, you can't live without no, 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 it. No, no. It's really good. So there's our advice for you. I don't know what it's worth. It's all for the river ways. Are there? I know people use like body harnesses, yeah. and is there better ways to use heavier lenses? So there we go. I hope this has been helpful. Has anybody what had any use? bad experiences with the harness? Yeah, well, if they broke and damaged your equipment. Yeah, I mean they shouldn't because that's what the safety strap is for, isn't it? Yeah. No, I mean, do, are, are they affected by weather? If it gets too wet or the well, heat, not that one is decent bit of leather. That's not. Yeah. Gonna... You wouldn't think so. No, I mean you'd be more worried about your cameras. Well, that's why cowboys and Indians use them, isn't it? Because they're it doesn't rain in the desert. But it's a lot of sand. Ah. Uh, <laughs> right there you go. Oh, see you next time. See you next time. Oh. <laughs>